All right, everybody, let's get into this review of the TC22, Camp Park's new camera. Really cool looking box. I like the artwork on this box, by the way. Sometimes they come in the box and it's kind of plain. This one definitely is not. Your manual, little quick start guide. Of course, your camera. And also in the box, you'll get two straps. Why two? I guess two's better than one. I guess they give you a backup strap. And your charging cable. Now, I've already taken the stickers off this thing, but it, it will have stickers on all these little lenses. So, And sometimes they're easy to miss. I almost missed these here. So, on the side, it'll have a place for a lock. It's always nice. Got your latches on the back. It'll have a place for your python cable. And then your strap, you know, on the bottom, the quarter 20 mount. And then that's where you'll charge it up initially before you stick it out in the field. And this is a dual lens camera. I have a daytime and a nighttime lens, which the advantage of that is, as opposed to just one lens, the one lens cameras, the IR filter switches back and forth to adjust. And sometimes you can get a mechanical click when it does that and you can hear it sometimes, and if you can hear it, you can bet the animals can hear it. So, Also, with the dual lens, you should get a wider angled shot. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Got your screen, all your buttons here. A little quick start guide. And it does not take any backup batteries at all. And on the bottom here is where you'll insert your full-size SD card. Those are easier than the micro SDs to pull in and out. I'll tell you that. And this does have 4K capability. Wi-Fi, you can use the app to connect and look at all your videos and photos as long as you're within, I think, 10, 10 yards, 15 yards, something like that. It's a good feature to have. It has the starlight night vision which the starlight night vision is supposed to give you good quality color images in low light conditions. So we'll test that feature out. Kind of anxious to see how that works. So let's get it out in the woods and see what happens.
I wanted to show y'all this. I thought it was kind of interesting. This light comes on when it's being charged either by the cable or by the sun. And it's showing it's being charged. And I do not have this in direct sunlight. Like I do now. So that's good. It means apparently you don't have to have it exactly in the sun. So just take that for what it's worth. And here's what the app looks like. It's just called Wildlife Cam. Just download it and uh, it'll bring this screen up here. Tap on the little deer icon and then it'll bring you to this screen here after it connects. And then uh, it just shows you a live view of what your camera's seeing, which works great for setting up that perfect angle, that perfect view. And you can review your pictures, your videos. You can change all your settings from this screen here. Um, really works well. Was really pleased with it. Now this is a red glow camera. It is not a black flash, so you can see the red glow um, at night. But as far as pros and cons with this camera, not a lot of cons at all. Um, if you want to call it a con, the hole for the Python cable uh, won't accept the bigger size. You have to use, I think, the 3 16th size Python cable, but not a big deal at all. Um, the solar panel seemed to work really well even when it wasn't in direct sunlight. The dual lens worked really good. I like the design. It's it's a small camera. You can buy you a lock and lock the door to keep somebody from opening it up. A lot of different options as far as setting the camera up. The sound, the, the video quality was really good. The Bluetooth feature worked really well. No problems with it. Very easy to use. So if you have any questions, something I forgot to mention, just feel free to Leave it in the comments. So thank you guys for watching this review. I'll leave a link in the description for this camera if you're interested. And I'll see you on the next one.